Welcome to my lecture online. So far we've seen how to calculate the voltage, the potential or the potential difference between two points within a uniform electric field. Like if we place charges on one plate and charge on another metal plate, then the field in between those two plates would be uniform. And we found that if we travel then, if we, or if you move a charge from point A to point B within that uniform electric field, we can find that the potential difference between those two points is equal to the work it took to move that charge between two points in the uniform electric field divided by the size of that charge. Now what we're going to do here is show you what the equation would be if we have a point charge producing the voltage. Here we have an example where we have a positive charge and here an example where we have a negative charge. The potential at some arbitrary distance way r, and it doesn't matter what the direction is because there's no dependence on direction here, the equation we use for that is simple, it's equal to the voltage at that location is equal to k, the same k that we use in Coulomb's law, times the charge that produces the voltage divided by the distance from that charge. It's as simple as that. Now if we have a negative charge, the equation then becomes v is equal to k times a negative q divided by r. So you can see that the only difference is that a positive charge produces a positive voltage and a negative point charge produces a negative voltage. What about the units? Do the units make sense? Well when we come back over here we know that the units for work is equal to joules and the unit for charge is coulombs. And now we've seen before that joules per coulomb does indeed give us the units for volts. Now here's an example where we use a symbol V for the concept of voltage or potential and we use a symbol V also for the unit volt. It's a little confusing sometimes but yes indeed so we use the symbol as well as we use the unit the same letter for the for the unit. Now let's see if we get the same units when we use this equation. Now the units for K is going to be newtons meter squared per coulomb squared. Then we multiply that times the units for charge, which is coulombs, divided by the units for distance, which is meters. And notice that one of the coulombs cancels out, one of the meters cancels out. This gives us the units of newton meter per coulomb. And then newton meter, well, that's the same as joules. That's the unit for joules. So we get joules per coulomb. And just as we saw before, joules per coulomb is defined as volts, or we should say volts is defined as joules per coulomb. So you can see that the units do indeed work out. So notice the difference. We're going to use this equation that the difference between potential within a constant electric field is simply the work done to move the charge divided by Q. And of course if you then use the equation that work done is force times distance divided by Q and the force in the uniform electric field is E times Q and then of course times d divided by q and when the q's cancel out it's equal to e times d. So the potential difference between two points in the uniform electric field is the strength of the field times the distance you travel within that field parallel to the field and let me write d a little bit better here and if you have a, a point charge either a positive or negative point charge we use a very different equation we use the equation that the potential at some distance away is equal to k the constant times q which is the size of the charge divided by the distance away from that charge so make sure that you remember that this is for uniform electric fields and that is for point charges that's how it's done